Oh God! One more eye in hand. It's got a nice. Yeah, just like so. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to NB Edits. So today, guys, we're gonna be doing something that we have been wanting to do for quite a while now, basically since opening day this year. We are strictly going to be targeting some walleyes. Small ones, medium ones, big ones, it doesn't matter. We are going to put a lot of walleyes in the boat today. We've got perfect conditions, no sun really in sight. Nobody's out here really on the lake. We've got a little walleye chop going to be a great day so it is Memorial Day weekend the time that we are filming this and yeah for one I can't believe nobody's out here uh, it is a little cold I think it's only like 56 degrees right now so we're back to early spring conditions but like Brandon was saying this is what you want for walleyes uh, not really sure on the cold front but we'll see today what we are gonna be throwing is pretty much gonna be like the most generic stuff ever it's gonna be a hair jig a jig and a paddle tail and that's probably gonna honestly do it we might throw like some jerk baits or something like that but we're no live bait today just strictly throwing artificial and hopefully catching a ton of walleyes we just got the boat launched we're gonna go ahead and get a few things set up we're gonna head to the first spot and we will see you guys when we get hooked up with that first fish There's a pot of walleyes out there right now. So Brandon's throwing the hair jig. I'm starting out jig and a paddle tail, quarter ounce. And uh, we're just gonna be working a weed line here. Marking fish already on the live scope. See if we can get a bit. Oh, I just got broken off by a muskie. Yep. Well, Brandon just broke off and I just got hooked up. Seems about right. Yeah, <laughs> live scope don't, live scope does not lie, I'll tell you that much. Well, just a little guy. Got to start somewhere. But uh, that was about my second or third cast, I want to say, and I already caught the targeted species. <sighs> Brandon, <sighs> he's yeah. saying musky, but uh, it could have been a giant one of these guys. We're gonna hope that it was know. something not of this species. Felt vicious but for about half a second and just gone. <laughs> nice starter walleye. Get back, get back out there. There's a pot of about 12 of them. There's another one. Slammed it. How's it feel? Better than the last one, but I'll both of them. Get up here. Well, wasn't the second cast, but it was about the fourth. <laughs> we just got another Y. Can't complain. I mean, once you get the water temp in the 55 to 60 degree range, it's like a whole new beast. You get that post-spawn bite where they start to go out to the deeper weed lines. And not like super deep, we're only in 10 to 15 feet of water right now. But you find these weed lines or like the second hand drop off of like a shoreline or something and these fish are going to be there and like I said we're not using live bait we're literally just using artificial and uh, they do not mess around when they want it they want it what do we got a northern pike Interesting species. 
Boat flip northern, that's the most dangerous thing in the game. Well, unfortunately, that's not... Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it's not the right species. Still fun to catch, though. Fish is a fish. We pulled up to a different spot to get out of the wind a little bit. And that was the first fish that decided to bite. There we go. There we go. All right. Well, first one for me here on the old hair jig. Came up and crushed it pretty good. That's all it is. That's all it takes. A little black, purple, white action to it. Right now, I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy back. Right now we're working basically just a deeper sand flat. I'll see you later, buddy. We're working some weed edges right now and uh, we're rolling around with the Panoptics live scope and we're looking for those weed edge transitions right now. And this, basically this whole flat out here is about 15 to 20 feet deep. And it's basically all just sand, a little bit of chunk rock and uh, you can just kind of drift that across bottom. Sometimes I'm giving it some pops. Sometimes I'm just slow reeling it back to me. And uh, that one came basically right off the weed edge. I'm casting basically right up to it. Sometimes you'll get those first two clicks where you got a little bit of weeds. Pull it out, now you're right on the edge. All you're doing is just rolling through sand. Those fish are patrolling the area, looking for bait fish and stuff like that. Right now that it's post spawn, they're feeding heavily. So that one came up and crushed it. We're gonna see if we can get some more. There's one. Not very big, but seems like there's a lot of walleyes on this weed line. It's a crappie. Okay, that's... <laughs> Alright, so it turns out I guess I am catching everything today. I've now caught a smallmouth. Brandon caught a small largemouth, a pike, a walleye, and now a crappie. That's not really a bad crappie. No, that's a nice... You said it felt small, but it's small for a walleye. Right. Nice for a crappie. Huh. It's supposed to be shallower than that though, I thought. Not 18 feet of water. Interesting. Alright, we'll get a release on them. There's just, it's another crappie. I don't even get it. I don't even understand. All right, well, could have had two in the box, but I didn't realize I was going for crappies today. But apparently I was. Now I'm gonna regret throwing that one back because I probably will catch another one at some point today. Oh my god! I literally just cast it out the way that's going on here. Alright, next cast. A little largemouth. Just multi species fishing out here today. <laughs> this is crazy. Everything loves a swim bait though. Brian and I were joking, man. It's definitely the most universal bait you can throw, though, for sure. Wow, that slammed me. Holy cow. It's a big fish. Wow, that thing thumped it. It's pretty nice, whatever it is. It's a walleye. Nice. Yeah, that thing thumped. Still using that plastic. We just switched spots for the third time, I think, today. And that's like a nice 21 inch walleye. Five feet of water, water temp, 54 and a half degrees here. So, not really sure why this thing's here, but uh, basically, some gravel into some weeds right here on this uh, flat that kind of comes off. But, nice fish. Thank you. 
There he goes. Let's get back out there. fish. What do we have this time? Nice walleye. Oh yeah. I'll come to the front. Go to the front. There we go. Another dandy. Let's go. Really gold. Really, really gold. Oh, check go. out this thing. That's that is gold. Nice That's really gold. Some northern Wisconsin gold. As you could tell earlier today, I was using a hair jig and I made a switch. Switched over to a plastic and uh, I got a Kalen's plastic on right now. Paddle tail. That one came up and just crushed it. Nice Earlier, fish. Nick's fish came up and it was a little bit more rocky-ish area. We kept drifting this area, we're getting closer to the weeds, and this one was right in front of the weeds, right on that weed edge. That's what you're looking for, that transition of sand, rock, into the weeds. Nice fish. We're gonna get a picture and get them back. All right, go ahead and get this one back. There she goes. That is awesome. Just sticking to that transition, we're gonna go ahead and make another pass here and uh, see if we can get hooked up right before the weeds again. Yep, there they are. They're here. Just pulled up to the new spot. And we got ourselves what I believe to be Pretty nice walleye. Are you gonna need a neck? I might. Can't tell yet, but I'm gonna I'm gonna just say yes, just to be on the safe side. It feels pretty decent. Staying down. Definitely getting pretty hard. Yeah. Coming up. Oh yeah. Let's go. Alright, we found him. We moved, we found him. Actually went to the first spot. Yeah, <laughs> back at the first spot. Maybe talk the other way. God, oh, holy, that thing slammed it, dude. Holy cow, I'm gonna need the net. One walleye in hand, it's got a nice one. Yeah, just like so. Yeah, it's tough, it's tough. Come on, guys. Brought the big camera out. Some doubles. Some doubles. We're never in the same frame at the same exact time no. on camera. No, we never do. We're this. always holding each other's fish and cameras <laughs> and all that good stuff. But not bad. Yeah, a couple nice ones there. Pretty, uh, pretty okay that we got to the original OG spot. First pass, Brandon. First cast. Mine. Second cast. Yeah. Two gorgeous walleyes. Get okay. a release on them. See you later, buddies. Okay. Old flips for days. <sighs> you know, that time I wasn't reeling it back at all. I was actually 
Wow, that was actually like just barely hooked. That time I pretty much just left it on bottom and let this drift take us. The wind picked up a little bit, so speed-wise, we gotta be kind of cautious. You don't wanna be reeling it too fast or you're never even gonna put it in front of the fish's face. So pretty much just left that one on bottom and let the wind do the work, to be honest with you. Hammered it. I just give the biggest thump ever. Get up in here. Oh. Unhooked himself. Small little guy. Get it released. And get it back out. Slammed it again, jeez. Woo, back to back. Pretty much cookie cutter of the last one. But, got some walleyes, never gets old. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as you can tell, it's starting to get dark out. Fished for most of the evening. Bite was never like super consistent. We got smallmouth jumping out here for us, giving us a nice little show before the sun goes down. Not a bad day at all. Messed around with a couple different techniques. We've tried spot locking on some locations. We tried drifting over some certain areas. Most of the day, we stuck to weed edges and that's what worked the best for us. We did have some areas there was just strictly sand flats. We had some rock structure that we were fishing as well, but overall, we had a pretty great day out here. Caught multiple walleye. We caught some crappie. We caught some largemouth. We caught some smallmouth. We caught some pike. Had a pretty great day. Can't complain at all. It is Memorial Day weekend, and uh, I believe we are going to be doing some more fishing. We got a nice three day weekend ahead of us. So, if you guys enjoyed today's video, you're going to want to make sure that you are subscribed and staying tuned for some more because we got some more walleye content coming very soon. We've got plenty of fishing ahead of us all summer long. So, again, if you guys aren't subscribed, please make sure to do so. If you guys enjoyed today's video, give us a thumbs up. We'd greatly appreciate it. And let us know what you guys would like to see down in the comment section. We'll see you guys on the next one. Tight lines from NBA.